go to catch another dog. <laughs> He's scared, huh? He's that's dog. okay, that's okay. Just walk him around. Do you know how to walk both of them together? Yeah. Okay, bring him right in here. Bring right on in here. Now bring him right on in here. Let him sit. Sit. Okay, sir. Sit. Hello. I'm going to give you a string in a minute. I'll give you the string. No more hitting. Because you don't know how to do it. Well, it's just not a, you're not being effective. No. So, pet him now and tell him good sense. Now nah, we look good. Okay, sir. With him sitting, see if you can circle. Call that concept one. Maintain the sitting, circle your dog. Okay? Okay? That's a good sit. Maintain the sit and circle your dog. Circle your dog. Concept one, circle your dog. Maintain the sit and circle your dog. Hello, just going around your dog. Leave him here, leave him where he is. Okay. Right there. Move into him. Let him sit. If he's, he's just like in class. He's just like in school. If someone is disrupting the class, put him to the rear, but he still has to get his homework out. So make him work. And now uh, they want to just briefly talk to you about their dog. This is Kane. Are you kicking your hand over that Simon? That's our female. This is her brother, half Italian Mastiff Conocorso, an American Bulldog. We had received or wanted Kane strictly for guarding the house, uh, guarding our son, property, one to be in part of the family and to be more socialized is Diamond, the female. She's, she guards though, you can't get that one wrong. She's a good guard dog, but she's very sociable. She loves children. She let all, you know, anybody play with her, come up and touch her. Kane is just a little more on the reserve side. He's just really, just since the day he was been born, Bob will tell you that he's just on guard at all times. But he's very social. He's still social. He can still be walked out in the public. Yeah. Doesn't try to attack anybody unless somebody was trying to attack us like a predator or something. Then he'd go into to what he needs to do. So that's what we try to promote around here. This is what we call a Bob's dog, you know. And uh, with the King Corso straight out, they have a tendency to be a little over aggressive and a little bit of too submissive to their master. So I put the bulldog with them to give me some bullness in there, some of that English mastiff and stuff back there, the bulldog. Put that with the Italian mastiff, and all of a sudden we come with a better dog. He's calm, cool, laid back, doesn't drill as much, drool as much. And uh, so we breed him for loyalty, protection, and peace of mind. Help to prevent theft, all this other home invaders and stuff like that. If you want to go camping, this oh, yeah. brother might want to go running or jogging and leave his family there. You don't have to worry about someone invading your premise. No. And that's why we breed it. So that's what we're doing here at the Bob's Camp. And this vehicle over here, this is a classic. This gentleman can sell this vehicle here and take the money, net price, and buy a brand new one. But he said he's going to keep it for a little LA in there. And we write them in there. <laughs> that's what they, yeah, that's what they Yep. Yeah. They always write it. So today is, uh, I don't know what it is. What's today's date? 27. 27? 26, 27. Yeah, 27. Okay. And uh, fact of the matter is, we're here at the training place. As you see a little, just show them around here a little bit where we do our training. This is where we do all our training and our teaching. This is our field right there. Off over to your right is our disaster area. You see where we had the uh, Pierce County School Division to bring these logs and all this stuff so we could utilize that for using search and rescue dogs. If a kid or somebody get lost or a disaster be rushed up like that from a flood, we go in there with our dogs. These dogs have to go in there and search. Right over here you got a levee, so the dog has to go over the hill and find a predator if they run over there and hide. And the further down there we got concrete slabs and bricks all busted up for a national disaster for infrastructure. So that's what we try to do here at Bob's Can We breed Italian Mastiffs and Malinois, German Shepherds, pretty soon a man will have these uh, Brazilian feelers over there, and then we also will have Dobermans. So anyone out there need a dog to come into their home for a companion, when you come home from school or you come home from work, this gentleman over here, he goes to work, he's safe. 
This lady right here, she's safe. She has the bodyguard right over there, and he's laid back. He doesn't bother anybody. He doesn't bother any dogs. He just laid back. And that's his brother over there, Guido. We call him Guido, son of Samson, Von Bob's camp. We spell that camp K. I know, I gave it to him. Guido. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. His brother, his brother is out here as well. Where's he? Uh, oh, no, there. Oh, isn't he the cutest He's thing? He's so sweet. Yeah. Looks like bear, huh? Yeah. Okay, this is uh, some lovely, <laughs> lovely people down from Yam. Barbara Marchant, Jimmy Harris, her daughter. Caitlin Brooks. And, and this is the singer. This is the singer of the whole group right here. She's singing for me just about every time I love her. And she's getting better. Okay, that's what we're going to have on, 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 on uh, my space. You're going to see you.